Hello everyone, in this video let's see how a performs, After Effects performs on a Mac Mini M1. This is still the Intel version, so let's see how it performs. Still a bit faster I think, it took very less time to launch. So I have three so I have three comps here. One is 3D logo. Here I have a logo on the top, 3D logo, and I have a spotlight and a comp with the color correction applied. So I'll show you. I apply lumetric color. So before that it was like this. So color is applied here and I have a spotlight and a 3D logo. So let's see. And I've set the resolution to third. So let's see the preview. It is, I think, I guess, uh, it is a bit faster than previous Max. So it didn't take long to make review. Let's jump back to another one. Here I have particles. There's the foam. And we'll change the these particles to a custom one, like uh, this text. And this text is in 4K, as you can see. It's a big one. So let's see how it performs here again. User define. And now I can see the particles. I'll make them slightly bigger. let's again see the preview how and how long it takes so you can see it's better than papers ones right And the last I have a tracking here it will remove something and uh, using a mocha I'll use mocha and then content error so let's make a preview of this clip again it's again 4k I'll show you you can see so let's apply mocha I'll jump to mocha now and here I'll make this area I'll remove so let's zoom in I'll make the mask a bit smoother That's it. So now let's zoom out and this perspective also I'll include in this. Now let's track forward. So you can see the GPU is being used and it's a lot faster than my previous Max, I can say. Yes, and we are done. Let's save and jump to After Effects. I'll save and close. And here we need to see first we need tracking data so create tracking data choose layer one and here I have this is it done and now let's see the mat and here we have a mask Invert, I'll invert it. Uh, here we have a hole here, so let's fill this hole using content aware. And 
now it's rendering so I can see it's faster than previous ones and we are almost done so with 8 GB and M1 it is performing much better than previous Macs I guess if you have a 16 gigs of RAM it will be much and much faster than this and we can also wait for this uh, M1 version of After Effects and that will be much faster than this one. So see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.